Hello and welcome. I am the Urban Animist and I'm here to bring you a guide to the unknown and the unseen. I hope everybody's having a wonderful Thursday. Thursday. So today I'm going to talk about the Queen of the Lilies, right? Okay. She's the fourth spirit from this river and it rained really hard last night. So the river has risen, which I've been asking it to, well not been asking it to but encouraging it to to rise again and I didn't expect that but anyways so okay the queen of the lilies now this spirit came to me before before I knew who it was now this is one of the first spirits I met on the river aside from the concho well aside from the AFA there um she literally came to me in between two bald cypress trees. I There's a place, and I'll show you later, it's way down on the other side of the river, but I had walked up there, and what I saw was a fish. How can I explain this? It was a fish with a human's face and arms, and it was the weirdest thing. I mean, she's not weird, but that's the way she appeared to me. And so I started talking to her and I said, hello. I was like, I'm blah, blah, who are you? And she told me her name was Unogla. Okay, weird name, right? So whenever I hear names like that, I immediately write them down somewhere because I want to remember them. Because if that's the name, I wanna be able to look it up. Well, I can't find the name Unogla anywhere. But anyways, that's what she said her name was. So she's very energetic, very, very energetic, very kind, very upbeat, very, very bubbly, I guess, type of personality. Well, anyways, so I had talked to her and she comes in a white dress too. Whenever she takes a human-like shape, she comes in a white dress and she's always been super nice, super helpful. She always wants to help. She's amazing so after i met the turtle mother the beardling maid that i guess and sorry drop something after i met turtle mother and after i found out that turtle mother and afa there or river father were mother and father like gods of this river i was flabbergasted and so that's when unogla told me that she was queen of the lilies that she created the lilies that grow from the concho river and i was absolutely stunned i mean you don't know this but the concho river is home to the most diverse species of water lily in the entire world we have a festival every year every single year where so many people from around the world come so many it's crazy and I started working with her and talking to her and I started learning about her and asking her what she could do, what magic she had. Oh, look, a turtle. Oh, I can't turn this, can I? Anyways, so I started asking her what magic she had and what, what abilities she had. And um, she told me she had the ability and she teaches the ability to change shape which was awesome. Okay, now I haven't really delved into that with her yet. Um, she also told me that she gives the ability to find beauty in everything. She brings love to those who want it, but also she takes love away. Okay, that's, I always thought that was kind of strange, but what else was it? She told me that she has the ability to understand plants and to teach you which plants will be beneficial as a queen of the lilies. She also knows magical properties of the water lilies that nobody knows. There's just a lot of things with that I haven't delved into with her or worked through with her, but this is just a little video about the queen of the lilies of the Concho River. Now, I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. I hope that I have illuminated some part of the unknown and the unseen for you here today. If you have any questions or if you would like to 
talk to me or see, ask anything, learn from me, please don't be afraid to message me. Follow me on Facebook, on Twitter, and on Telegram. And of course, subscribe on YouTube. Bye guys, I hope you have a wonderful day. I am the Urban Animist, and I hope that I have brought you a guide to the unknown and the unseen. Bye-bye.